Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of my single player Minecraft Survival Vanilla LP. I feel like I messed that up. Doesn't surprise me, it's been a while since I recorded the last episode. Haven't done a whole lot of bin decorating, I put a window there because I was looking at it and I couldn't get a painting that's the right size. So, I put a window in it instead. Uh, not a whole lot, just threw down mostly carpet and a little bit of decor here and there. This would be the kitchen. This is where I'll be moving the food storage to. And the computer just hitched. Not sure if you can see that in the video or not. I also don't know if you can hear it in the video or not, but I'm at the time of year where I have to have the fan on. I put some bookshelves in here. Might not keep it. I'm not sure yet. I was thinking a fireplace would go really nice over there. And then upstairs, I mostly put carpet down and then I put some uh, there's beds in every room and I've got bookshelves functioning as nightstands for now also I brought my one of my cats upstairs I do have a bunch of quartz for bathroom stuff I just haven't done it yet also there's ender chests in every room as well I briefly forgot about that and we're getting to the time of year where it's just entirely too hot also, I've uh, done some texturizing. I got mossy and cracked stone brick in for now. And I did start on the wall out there, which is more than I can say for my Season 1 LP base uh, server. But I just haven't worked on it. I've not really been doing much in the way of Minecraft here the last few days. This is just getting to be entirely too warm for me. And I was thinking something to do on camera before I go too far was since we are in the latest snapshot, which as of this recording is 20W21A, uh, go ahead and make some hay bales, or not hay bales, uh, target blocks. Let's see, I don't know how many of that I'm going to need. I don't need three of them. Put that away. Put that away, run upstairs, have a quick nap. I was deliberately waiting to be recording to do that part, because I talked about the actual um, shooting range before, and I put netherrack down as a placeholder. And this is where we find out it doesn't work, because, you know, that's how that goes. And I'm, I don't know how well it would be picking up in the video, but I'm hearing that weird reflection thing I get. It's one of those, it's sort of like the temperature in here. Uh, it gets cooler if I turn everything off, but I can't record if everything is off. One there, and one here. And this is where we find out this completely doesn't work. Isn't that how that goes? I should be able to jump over there. For the time being, I've just got coarse dirt. I was poking around on the uh, on my first world, and it looks like I actually interspersed some pods a little in with it. That's pretty close to the center. Hmm. And this one at 50 yards, or uh, yards, meters. It's a little longer. This one's gonna be hard. Yeah. Dang it. Oh. But I know that works. Anyways, <laughs> moving on. Um. I did get a second beacon. I'm not sure if I mentioned that in the last episode. Specifically for decor, but I had to stop um, because my bow is on its last repair. Once it gets all the way down, it's done. That is actually an interesting thing. I hope that's on a book tracker. Huh. If you have stacks of items in your inventory, apparently they show up in front of everything else. Well, that's not supposed to happen. 
Anyways, what I really wanted to do today was go do some nether exploring. Since we're in the snapshots, and I did reset the uh, nether in the last episode. Let's go put some stuff away. There we go over there. I was also thinking it'd probably be a good idea to take some cobble with me, as well as taking some obsidian and perhaps grab my flint and steel out of the ender chest, just to go ahead and set up the other portals, which is going to actually require me to have the other, have the uh, notepad document I have with that in it. So, anyways, let's go to the, uh, ow. Let's go to the nether first and see, because I'm not entirely sure. I find it interesting how it generated, went ahead and generated the, uh, gen generated the uh, nether wastelands around the spawn portal. So I was not expecting that. I was thinking it might be something else, but apparently not. And before I forget, there's one other thing I need to do, and I'm pretty sure it's in my inner chest. At some point, I will be blocking the... I went and made a, a helmet. Because I figure with the boots, you do need your feather falling even in the nether. And then my pants are fire prop, which you kind of also want in the nether. But my helmet has a bunch of underwater enchantments, and that doesn't really help in the nether. But you need to wear gold for the uh, piglins. So, let's get started here. And at some point, I am thinking about flying out to the uh, overworld side of the desert portal. Because there should be new terrain there. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Anyways, this is towards the... Toward, towards the... Um, which portal is, it that is this way? I think this is actually towards the sand portal, thinking about it. I'm going to have to do that. And hitched. And it's nice that the nether quartz ore still generates. Uh, hey, hey, what do we have here? Oh, dear. Well, that's going to hurt a lot. We don't want a piece of that. And I'm wearing gold. Ow. Hold still, please. Thank you. Funky sounds. Ooh, these even come with the glow lights. Can't reach. Too short. brought an axe. And that's another word. Ah! I know. Need a hoe for that. Uncut and uh, uncensored and all that stuff. Uh, let's see. Diamond hoe. Your other some nether work blocks because that's what's available. Let's grab the axe and chop down the rest of this thing. Maybe. That is some interesting generation there. Oh, uh, shears. I do have a pair of shears. I do have a pair of shears. I'm actually surprised that it's this close. How lovely. The, uh, well, I already said what I was for earlier. <laughs> It's melting my brain. I don't know. Do you have a, do you have a hoe on those? Measure. Actually, tell you what, before we go too far, let's put some of this stuff into a chest. Because we don't need all of it on us, I don't think. And then put that in there. And grab our deal. Ow!
Apparently, they do that when you open ender chests, too. Or it might have been my shulker box, you punks. Forgot about that. Anyways, back up here. Yep. Definitely the hoe. Thought I saw another set. Unfortunately for me, I happen to have diamond, pretty decent armor, and also I, d I have this tendency to not die. I can hear the music. Which is interesting because it should be off. Dang it, I stripped it. Don't you just hate that when you're chopping away or at something and you accidentally right click with your axe? It's sort of like the whole quasi-connectivity thing. Yeah, I have kind of a love-hate relationship with it. Sometimes you love it, sometimes you don't. Make it a little bit brighter here so we can actually see what we're doing. Did I still have my shoes on me? Yes, yes I did. There we go. Okay, let's see. Grab this. It's gonna be having our meat. I think that's just regular netherrack, isn't it? Yeah. That is the crimson nylon. There we go. Grab some of that. Grab one of these. There's probably more, actually. Yeah. And the other kind. Because that's the one that you use for the uh, striders that I haven't seen yet. Sheesh. They're picky, apparently. Yep, they definitely don't like it if you open your own ender chest. The thing that behavior reminds me the most of is the dragons from the Ice and Fire mod. They do that too. If you open a chest anywhere near them, they will come in and nom on you. Let's see, what else can we find? I believe spawn is uh, that, that way. Yeah, that way. Alright. Oh! Another fortress generates much, much closer. Oh, this looks good. Oh, 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 oh. I found a spot where I might do the nether, uh, nether. Wither skeleton farm. This is new. Ooh. I like what I see. Because the previous one didn't generate quite that like that. Which tells me spawn should be in a this early direction? Yeah, through there. Alright, that was interesting. I got some nether, nether gold ore. Which I always carry a silk touch pick because... In my first world, I lived in the extreme hills, which basically means that if you don't so touch everything, you're going to run into a lot of silverfish. I feel like that should be closed off. Kind of defeats the purpose of boxing in your portal if it's exposed. Alright. Let's see what we get over here. Soul Sand Valley. Interesting. Blackstone. Oh, I got a source of Blackstone. Oh, nearby. We're in a Blackstone thing. Uh, Basalt Delta. Oh, interesting. And I know the end portal stuff should be over here-ish. 
Yeah, because right here is where the portal was. Um, let's see. I'm thinking I might just bury it for now, for simplicity. Let's see. One, three, two up. I put it away. Dang it. This is where we get attacked again. Dang it, now I have my flint steel out. This should be close enough to where I should be in the correct portal. Let's find out. Because I know this is roughly pretty close. Might get a new portal here, might not. And... New portal. Where am I? Oh. Nowhere near where I thought it was. Wait a second. Thought I saw something that way. This way? No. Huh. So the terrain looks familiar, but it's moved around, apparently. Okay, that's good to know. Ow. How you doing? Okay. That's interesting to know. Huh. Anyways, uh, we're getting along on this single clip here. I think I'm going to cut here and I will bring you guys back in when I find something else. See you in a little bit. Well, that was actually really quick. I was not expecting to find this that fast. This should be soul soil, yep. One of the new blocks. I was not expecting to run across an, a soul soil valley this quick. For a large biomes map, everything seems to be very close together. Wow. Got him. Oh, that's another crimson forest, not a warped forest. Dang it. Um, let's get fly. Oh, that's not. Alright. Ooh! Bone structures. Free bone meal. Hmm. I got a new sign for that. Jeez, right by it. Oh, come on. There we go. That is mostly so we don't die. Let's see, the other one is the warped forest, which I am not saying yet. And I will need to bring up that document. I still haven't done that yet. Ooh, another gas deer. And you can die, and you can die. Skeleton. Wow, lagging single player. Enjoy. And of course, the blue flame, and I believe that is just more of the uh, crimson forest over there. Anyways, I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. Well, that was most unfortunate. I brought on my camera account to see if I could find it, but I have no idea where I died at. Kinetic energy. This is going to be painful to get restocked up, but it's doable. Because I have no idea where it was. Uh, 
bring my camera count back over to the overworld so it doesn't get lost because uh, no, no, that uh, because of the fact that it um, oh hey, when you open the land by default it starts you off in um, survival if you don't tell it otherwise shouldn't be too awfully bad although it's going to be a bit of a pain uh, I feel like there was something there what goes there Oh, my wings. <laughs> Duh. The thing I'm wearing now. Fortunately, it shouldn't be that bad to recover. I'm not, not really. But I thought I would share with you guys. Uh, I actually experienced kinetic energy, I believe. Uh, uh, that button. Yeah. Kinetic energy, but I have no idea where. If I knew where, I would probably just go grab my stuff. Use my camera account to grab it and then move on, but I think I'm gonna move on with it for now. Got a mending guy right here. And I'll need uh, four mending books, five. I may go see if I can locate it later, but I'll I'll bring you guys back in when something else interesting happens. I thought I'd bring you guys in because I just need a couple of things. I want to turn that down a little bit more. Let's so turn the master volume down some too. I'm al I've almost completely recovered. I just need a few things. Like, um, it'd be nice to get another couple of Unbreaking 3 books. So one for that and one for that. I need Feather Falling. I tried combining it with a Feather Falling set of boots that I've actually got on. But it's too expensive, so I need a Feather Falling 4 and two Unbreaking Books. And it would be nice to get um, not only Sharp 5, but also looting on that. That should be good. Yeah, that's cool. It's hard to say with the way the text is doing. These I would like to get up, uh, up to Prop 3. But, other than that, also, I should probably put the valuables away, because we're running around with all of our valuables in our inventory. Nice thing with this Enderman farm, this is an unenchanted sword, and it kills them just as fast. Anyways, I'm going to fiddle with this some more, and I'll, I'll be back. Last item to recover here. I can have the perfect sword. Too expensive. Can't repair it. Not even if it wasn't damaged. I just thought I'd bring you guys in because I'm like really happy with that. Everything else is good. Uh, this is just a bunch of extra stuff I've got laying around to deal with. There is one other thing I want to do. Uh, well, a couple of things. One of them is I would like to fix this bow. I'm pretty sure there's one more repair in it. First, let's just dump all this over here. That way, if and when I need it again, I can go get it pretty easily. That's everything except the books. Because, yeah. And the books. I um, emptied that shulker because it is one of our empties. Uh, where did I get in there? I don't need it in there. Drop that off. Uh, I think I'm gonna pause. I know the video is getting rather lengthy now. Thanks to the whole, you know, splattering all over the nether. And it's also taken a very, very long time to get recovered, but... That partic this particular sword is actually better than my previous one because it didn't have sharpness 5. Let's see, bows. The nicest thing about having a skeleton farm is that they give you a lot of really nice bows you can combine. Uh, that one should fix it all the way up, I think. 5. Well, it would if I actually had any XP. 
I know where to get some real quick. I've got two uh, masons in the village here, and both of them trade stone and granite. So, let us go get that, and then, uh, uh, they're probably hanging out now. But, um, it, that's the shulker that was already over there. <laughs> I forgot to clean up my mess. Shame, shame, shame. But basically this particular shulker box is full of loot from the end. Which has actually ex been extremely helpful here because it means that I have things that I can go ahead and use that are pretty decent. It also means you get a lot of cares of finding everything. And gives to me ZXPs. And there's another guy. Where is he? Over here. That's probably enough, but I'm gonna go ahead and redraw some of my stone. You fly easier when you actually put your wings back on. I may or may not have done that a couple of times in the last couple of hours that this has taken me to get back up to speed. Anyways, and that villager's been over here again. There we go. It's too bad you can't put mending on there, and I don't really like punch on a bow either. I don't like knockback on my swords or punch on bows. I also don't really care for thorns. I can understand why people like it, due to the whole, it, um, if you get hit, it damages whatever hit you. I personally don't like it because it does that, but it also, um, it will take durability from your armor over time. Anyways, it'll take me a minute to get ready for the one last thing I want to try doing, and then I'll call it there. So I'll I'll have to do a couple of things here. I'll be I'll be back. All right. One thing I was wanting to do, and there's the reflections again. I wanted to go to the desert portal in the overworld. Let's see now. Minus a. Nope. It's this way. Yeah, that kind of makes sense. It is northwest. I'm hoping along the way to spot some new uh, overworld gen from it. Because I know you can find uh, broken portals in the overworld occasionally. Although here might be a little difficult to find due to, well, there's the terrain. And I'm not sure exactly how far this way I've gone. Minus 1100. Because I'm in the mountains, I should probably go up. Oh. We're in a roof forest. Somewhere along the way, there's also the, uh, another woodland mansion. Let's see. It should be around minus 3200 uh, and uh, minus 1100. And this is large biome, so of course it's going to be a rather large roof forest. And there's the birch forest that I think I've seen on the midst. Pretty sure I saw it. I forgot to mention earlier, um, I'd been messing around with the sound a bit, and unfortunately, I didn't notice until more recently that there's no game audio in the recording. I mean, I could hear it fine in my ears, but the audio source had gotten switched. Yeah, this has been really disappointing. 
Disappoint. Yeah, I guess there's the savannah. And there's the portal. It's like right over here. Well, that was rather anticlimactic and disappointing. Let's see. More or less this or, at this early direction. Probably didn't help that the chunks weren't generating. Or at least couldn't see them. Here's a birch forest. I was hoping to see some of those ruined nether portals, but I guess we don't get any. I'm heading north. So for the trip back, I'm going to want to head the other way. And it's getting to be evening. Perfect. Well. After that little bit of disappointment, I think I'm going to cut here and I want to try one last thing before we go for the day. Hello, what have we here? I ruined another portal. I was not expecting that. I'll take the food. The food and a crying obsidian. Which is that one. Eh, uh, looks to be it though. Okay, I'll be back. Alright, we're back. I want to try one last thing because I think I know how to get to the Crimson Forest. Or not the Crimson Forest, the uh, Warped Forest. I'm not 100% sure. Let's try not dying this time. But I think I saw one when I was looking with my camera account over this way. Somewhere. Let's see. Nope, I can go that way. I want to say it was over here somewhere. I'm not a huge fan of flying through the void. Especially in the nether because of the fog. There it is. Yes. Ha! Found it! Nether <sighs> wood type. I'll grab some of that. Oh yeah, I'm sure see. I've already got some of those. I think you plant the... Uh... Yeah, I'm not going to bother grabbing my axe right now. I might come back here later. I want to say this way. Yeah, because of there. And then we hang a little left along here. Or hold left. Uh, yeah. Alright, I'm too far that way. So we need to go this way. Because it's through here, I think. Ah, found our way back. For some reason, it seems to enter and exit the uh, swim mode, or fly mode, a lot more. I think I've done all the exploration I wanted to do for the day. Ugh, what a pain. Anyways, um, I was thinking we could do some bartering for the Crying Obsidian later. But for now, I think that's going to have to do it for today, because I have been at this for hours. Just trying to recover... I didn't see the Bastion, but I know there's one around there somewhere. I found it with my camera account while I was trying to find 
all of my equipment that I after my splatter all over the place. Warped roots and some of that. Warped stem. I think if like the mushrooms you put warp fungus on there, bone meal it and it'll go really tall. I think. Anyways, I do hope you enjoyed it. Um Although, too bad I didn't get the actual impact on camera. Uh, but I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, do be sure to hit that like button. And if you really enjoyed, then make sure to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.